Greg, thank you. Turning now to the fallout over the system crash that potentially prevented thousands of Floridians from registering to vote. An investigation now currently underway, but voting advocates say the governor and secretary of state's deadline extension was inadequate. CBS Force Ty Russell is following the story. He joins us now with the latest. Ty. Elliot and Lauren, that deadline has passed. It's been about eight minutes, and that's why it is quiet where I am right now, just outside the Broward Elections Office in Lauder Hill. And actually, this is a spot where many of the people were filling out the registration forms today. I was able to talk to some of them. And I should also note that there is one group out of D.C. that says today's deadline was not enough. They're hoping for state leaders to make an extension. Whether walking or driving, many have already cast a ballot for the general election. Nearby the drop-off location at the Broward Elections Office in Lauder Hill, there's county resident Willie Fuller. Today's my first day actually trying to register and I heard it as the last day. Fuller sat outside to fill out his paperwork. He wasn't alone two hours before the 7 p.m. deadline. Are we ready? We try, we ready. The deadline for filling out a registration form online or in person was extended to Tuesday evening. That's after potential voters ran into a brick wall trying to register online. When I tried to log in, yes, I was having problems. Like the system passed that's yes. why so I came in person today. Florida Secretary of State Laurel Lee said the state's registration website had an unprecedented 1.1 million requests per hour during the final hours to submit an application. She also said she's working with law enforcement to make sure that wasn't done to meddle in the voting process. And once again, some are questioning another online website run by the state. Florida always had kind of like a sketchy <laughs> voting situation, so uh, no, no surprises. <laughs> so. During a news conference earlier, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis tried to ease concerns by talking about offering several ways to register. I really think it's important that, uh, that there also be live people that can help and that it's not just internet or, or nothing because, I mean, you know, you can have the best site in the world. Sometimes there's hiccups on it, and so this way, People, even when they get off from work, they're going to have till 7 o'clock where they could be able uh, to go to go do that. Back in Broward, the election supervisor says potential voters found a way to make sure their voices are heard. Volume driven or glitched or a software problem, whatever it is, uh, it, it, it's of, of no great moment. People are going to register to vote. But the Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights out of Washington, D.C. says the state failed the public when the online system crashed. The group is trying to persuade state leaders to extend the deadline. And just to be clear for the potential voters who are leaning on the post office to deliver their registration forms, the Florida Secretary of State says it has to be postmarked by today in order for it to be accepted. We are live in Lauderhill. I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News.